Let's go now to Iran's airborne attack against Israel. This is the first time it's directly attacked Israel. Reports suggest Israel's air defence has repelled the bulk of that attack in what's been those systems' biggest test to date. Israel plans to respond with the war cabinet continuing to beat while Iran threatens a further escalation. Joe, we know the Iranians had backed mm. the rebel groups, yeah. Hezbollah, the Houthi rebels and so forth, but have stayed largely away from direct attacks. Yeah, so this fair. is an escalation that was worried about even at the very beginning. It's very, very strange. That's right. Everyone said, oh, you know, the worst thing that could possibly happen is this escalates into a regional conflict that yes. brings in nation states apart from Israel and Palestine, depending on how you want to categorise it, and that that would have this basic domino effect where the US would then inevitably have to get involved, and then, of course, the rest of the Arab states, which fortunately are Sunni, not Shia, so yeah. hopefully would leave <laughs> Iran to wither on the vine, um, would then have to face a decision of, OK, you know, whose side are we on, as the old song goes. Yes. I, I am still trying to get my head around the rationale for Iran doing this. The um, If, presumably, Iran encouraged the October 7th attacks because it was worried that Israel was getting too close to Saudi Arabia and there was going to be a follow-up to the Abraham Accords, which mm -hmm. meant that Israeli um, airlines could fly over um, Saudi airspace and yeah. the two countries would have legally recognised each other, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that seems to be what Iran was worried about in... in actively stoking and funding the October 7 attack. So you have to wonder if it's that worried about peace in the Middle East breaking out, if you like, yes. is, is this what this attack is about? Are they now trying to provoke a wider conflagration in order to, um, to, to, uh, to avoid their worst-case scenario, which is, in fact, peace between Israel and the Sunni Arab states? Because otherwise you would have to think you'd abide by Napoleon's yes. number one rule, which is never interrupt your enemy while he's making a mistake. And Benjamin Netanyahu is, is losing friends and not influencing people um, with, the obviously, the Rafa, the, moving into Rafa and then the, the, the deaths of the aid workers. Why would Iran suddenly act to make Israel the victim again in the eyes of the world? It's very, very it strange. It wasn't the stated... And, again, I don't trust Iran. I, I don't... But the stated reason was because there was the Israeli rocket attack on a embassy yeah. in, in Syria. Syria. Damascus. That's their stated yeah, reason, yeah. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Yeah. Now, whether that was just the moment that gave them the opportunity to do what they currently... What, what they decided to fire back with. What is phenomenal when you watch this is that, generally speaking, what a lot of people have been scared about, about the Iron Dome or potential failures of it, where it can stop missiles, and thankfully it's been able to stop so many rockets that continued post-October the 7th. Yeah, you can see it here, here, actually, as we go, we go into air. So this is the Iron Dome they're putting in place to intercept those rockets as they're coming in. And, it's an incre and the US has said that it's beefed up and given uh, Israel more of these, more of these resources. Well, the big concern is, is that, though, if you swamp them with um, militarised drones... Yep that essentially the system is, is, is there to go after missiles, mm. but if you yes. swamp it with a couple of hundred drones, it doesn't know what to hit. Mm. So some of the suggestion was is that, that the way they've been able to get those drones, and it is amazing, like 99% of it yeah. didn't end up hitting anything. One thing did go through an explosion. One woman, Ijin, thankfully, uh, is apparently not going to die. Um, that apparently one of the ways that you respond to that is you've got to have a plane in the sky, basically Space Invaders style, trying to go after things as far away as they were. What was terrifying to watch last night was that silence between they've launched it, where's it going to land? Oh, yes, now, that right, gave yes. a, a, a small amount of opportunity to respond to the drones, but the drones in and of it is part of the escalation and something to be particularly concerned about.